Hello and welcome or welcome back to another video. Today we are unboxing the La Seraphim Flame Rises in Soul 2023 Tour DVD. It's not really a DVD, there is like a code that you use to watch it through Weavers, but I think this is still like kind of part of the whole DVD section, what they still categorize it as. I think this is a great way to look back at memories again from concerts and things like that. I didn't attend this concert by any means, it was in Korea, but I did watch it online, so I'm pretty excited to see what we have to look at in this. It is a nice little hefty box with a magnetic closure. We've got Flame Rise is on the side, the seraphim. Yeah, quite nice, very luxurious. And I like this like nice silvery burn outline. It looks really good. This is really what should have been done for the Unforgiving Compact designs, but we're over that. That was a long time ago now. Yeah, this is really, really cool. I love how this opens. We've got like a little thing on the side here, which holds our ticket, I think. And I love that. I love the little envelopes that Seraphim always does for their thing. A dedicated ticket holder spot is so cute. And I remember seeing previews of this ticket and I just thought it was so cool. So we've got that silver, metallic silver. We have the dates on there. It was a two day concert, the 12th and 13th of August of last year in Seoul. And I love how it's got that burn, silver burn as well. Oh, and then the Le Seraphim logo on the back too. So cute. We have this guy here and I assume all of our contents are behind it. Yes, they are. So let's take everything out. I do want to take a look at the photo book first. That's kind of how I usually like to do it. We do have like blue flame. Oh my gosh, blue flame all over. Really cool. This is, oh, this is so beautiful. That looks just so nice. Le Seraphim Tour, Flame Rises. Cute little book. Looks like the opening sequence, kind of in the middle there. Tour outfits, they wore these all over. Pretty good tour outfits with all the sparkles and jewels. Great for their first concert. I love the black and white. Oh, and Kazuwa's little Corella little white sh hair strip. I just, I love that. I wish she had it for a little longer, but it is nice we are seeing it in this. Cause I remember being upset that like she just did it for the concert and then it was gone but I'm very happy to see we have some things with it. Yeah, she looks so good. So I feel like that's no celestial. I'm not quite sure what this is. I wish they kind of gave us a little more information on each page, but that's okay. The pictures are still great to look at. I mean, this just seems like no celestial. That's kind of what they usually do, those types of outfits. We don't have any table of contents in here or anything like that. So just some cool pictures of them having an amazing time on stage. Kazu looks so good there, wow. She's really standing out in this photo book so far. But they all are. Yeah, Sakura looks amazing. They all look amazing. Look, cute little Yunjin. Cute Uche. Their little fist stack tower. Yeah, such a fun way to look at memories. And I like how we're having a good amount of just cohesion of colors too. I loved the pink and white they did with a little bit of light blue and purple. Very perfect night. We love perfect night. I mean, this is pre-perfect night. Guys, I look so good. <laughs> Which also looks so good. Yeah, this is pre-perfect night, I'm realizing, because it was in August of last year. Maybe it was a hint, a secret hint to the perfect night that was coming. This looks like Unforgiven, Yusaki and the Bluebeard's Wife kind of stuff. Oh, maybe Anti-Fragile. MJ is definitely doing like an Anti-Fragile pose. Yeah, so long ago, I don't even really remember the concert, at least in absolute detail. Like, I remember watching it. That's a really cool photo. There was definitely sirens and I'm sorry if they came through. Oh, or if they're coming through now. Oh, cute little messages. Chats with the girls. Sorry if you could hear the sirens. I tried to wait till they were gone. I have this sweater. I have the sweater and the little t-shirt. I love the t-shirt, I wear it somewhat often, but I wear the sweater a lot, the zip up, I wear it so much. 
They're so cute and I love it. It's just so comfy and like easy and I, I wear a lot of black and white already. Chewon, Dok Dok Chewon, maybe. <laughs> or at least that from that song, definitely from Fire in the Belly. Kazuha. I just I think I just really love Kazuha's hair. It's so cute. Oh, this is so sweet at the end with all of the confetti. I love that. Looks like some photos after. Flame Rises tour. Some more photos. Oh, this must be like rehearsal. Yeah, because we're not wearing stage outfits, just rehearsal. That's a really, really cool photo. I really like that. Oh, and then what do you call this? Concept photo? Oh, it says VCR. Yeah, but the, yeah, I guess, yeah, VCR photos. These are really, really clean outfits and the all black hair for everybody. That looks really good. The all black hair looks so nice. These are very similar to their stage outfits. I feel like Kazuo has the same pants and they just put some diamonds and stuff on them. Oh yes, and then the, the cutscenes. There were cutscenes at the concert that were all in this outfit, which was related to Crimson Heart, I believe. The webtoon series, and these are very pretty. The all white. So nice. Oh, they did some of those white outfits in like a room with like grass. So we're not seeing any of that. Cool. All black outfits. Oh yes, this is for like their merch. They released a bunch of merch and trading cards. And I want this jacket so bad that Sakura is on. I love it a lot. I like that. The all black. You can't go wrong with all black, all white. Just like monochrome in general concepts. I really like them. You know what? Can't go wrong with a seraphim, really. And that, I breezed over that too quickly. That is a very cute and shade photo. And all the girls. Oh, this looks like the Unforgiven Sun. Yeah, they look amazing. They always do. Yeah, I love that. Just a, oh, some credits too. Just a little look at the tour for them, especially in Seoul. So that was very, very cool. Okay, time for the inclusions minus the ticket. We already saw that. First off, the matchbook, which came in the front there. This is a really, really cool idea. A large matchbox that holds your keychain, which is also your code. So the QR code's on the back here to be able to watch the content, but it's kind of cool that it's a keychain. It used to be like a card. I miss the cards because you can store them, but the keychain's also quite neat. We have this as well, and this is actually paper, which is not as cool, to be honest with you. It's maybe a little cool because I guess I can store this, but this is not a functional keychain with a piece of paper on it, you know, not laminated or anything or plastic coated. So you can't really use this as an actual keychain without fear. This will get ripped the first day you try and use it or bent or something. So you'd have to take that off, but you definitely can use the rest of this like this as a keychain if you want to. I do like the little matches on the back though, because it's from the matchbox. Oh, what's this? Oh, the digital code. One digital code can be registered per one Weverse account, but this is really cute too. Just the extra attention to detail with that silver burned edge as well. And the box itself is just so cute. I love attention to detail. It's got like a glossy finish as well. It even has the strip here that looks like it would work for matches. Actually, I'm kind of wondering if it does work on matches. You know, I'm gonna try at the end. I have two of these and one actually got damaged. I'm gonna try at the very end of this video when the paper contents aren't as close. So let's do, let's look at these things first. We have mini posters first. They come in a cute little envelope. We love our Seraphim envelopes. One for each member, Chewan. The names on the back too. Sakura looking beautiful. Yeah, this is a really good view of their outfits. Kazwas and Uche's. Lovely. We also have a diary, which was a really cool addition that I was really excited to see. It's like a connected little board, but we've got some Polaroid styles, group ones, one of each member. Oh, the back's got the names there. And then we also have all oh, the dates and then some information for each member. So we've got Unche, Kazuha, Yunjin, Sakura. 
Chewon, I assume, yeah, they correspond with the photo on the back. I love that. I kind of wish they were perforated so I could cut them out and store them. I think I'll just cut them on my own. But this is a really cool little, little diary. Things like this are also kind of nice too because they're so easy to display. Yeah, I really like that. I love stuff like that. And last but certainly not least, let's look at the photo cards. So we've got two sets. Dark set first. Liking the backs, the blue flames. Oh, and this is what I was just talking about, the grass. The white outfits with the grass from the VCR thing that they did. Oh, all the backs are a little different. Oh, I wonder if it makes a design. But yeah, that's so pretty. Oh, I like these a lot. I'm so happy we have something from this, like, grass set set. I, grass set set. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I do wish we had some more photos of this in the actual photo book, but we have photo cards, which is what really counts. Do they make a little thing? <gasps> they do. Oh my gosh. Wow. I wonder if they connect to the other ones that I have. Let's take a look at these ones. Oh, they definitely don't fully match, but maybe they kind of match. We've got more of the silver flames. And we have the actual stage outfits, which is also really cool to have with all the jewels and stuff. That means on the pack as well. Yes, and the little face gems. Did you guys see that like Yunjin? I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's from the concert where she did like a wink and just because of the direction and angle of the light and photography and video, it like made an actual sparkle. It was so cool. And then we have one photo card with Kazan and her cool hair, and then Inche's. Very cute. Oh, these all look the exact same. Okay, so we don't have a design on this one. Seems so weird that we do on this one, we don't on this one, but that's fine. I'm gonna move these things out of the way. We're gonna try the matchbook thing. So I've got an actual matchbook, which I grabbed a match out of, and they always have that little strip there. And it feels like it could work. It's not quite the same. Yes, and this is my like damaged one. You can see that it got bent here as well. And my actual like box kind of got damaged too from this one, but that's okay because I do have a one really good one. Let's take out the code and this in case anything happens. Don't try this at home. We'll see if it even works though. I don't think it works. It just looks like it really could though. No, I broke it. I'm gonna patch it up. Just kind of want to test that it's not a faulty match. We'll try it on this one. Not a faulty match. This just does not work as an actual match box, which you know what is a good thing. And I'm glad we tested it. I hope you enjoyed that tangent. So we now know for sure it is fake strike paper. All right, we reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this and little unboxing and experiment, apparently. Please let me know if you decided to get this or if you're still thinking about it. And also please let me know when you think they're gonna announce their next tour because I think it's coming really soon. I wanna know your predictions though, but be sure to subscribe if you aren't already, and you can follow my socials, I'll link down below for trading and personal Instagram and whatever the heck if you want to see more of me. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.